views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to the hit show, Sheer Alchemy, with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Just say yes to explosive abundance. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Now, here's your host, Leslie Fontaine. Hello there. So great to be here today. Today, our topic is about committing to daily manifestations. And, you know, this isn't just about your special projects. It can be personal. It can be uh, financial, relationship-wise. What is it that allows us to daily create abundance manifestations? And abundance is a euphemism for whatever is important to you, what is uh, something that you value, something that you want to create. So... Sometimes we'll get super excited when we have an abundance idea, right? And then within about a day or two or maybe a week, we have lost that enthusiasm. And we don't know why. We feel like we're not committed. We feel like we don't stick to anything. Here we go again with another great idea. Why didn't we do it? Or we've been reading some uh, Law of Attraction material, and so we get all gung-ho, start it out, and then it just fizzles, and we start blaming ourselves for not creating, for not having what it takes to make it happen. And back somewhere in our subconscious, we decide that that stuff's for special people. And we don't ever say that. And you wouldn't even catch us saying it. Some of us can get quite defensive about it. But it's true. We sort of categorize those things as if it's for other people. I just got through teaching a class on creating daily abundance manifestations. And it is amazing that 15 minutes of time toward a daily abundance manifestation is almost torture. But we would rather go somewhere else and work seven and a half hours for someone else's dream, someone else's desire, come home. It's just easier, isn't it? Have you noticed what it takes to get creative, to really implement something creative? It's like going off a cliff, right? It's like going into some emptiness and you're by yourself with your great idea. So if this is you, this is the show for you. I want to give out the phone number for the show today. It's 800-930-2819. That's 1-800-930-2819. So much going on. Just back from Chicago and Raleigh. And I'm telling you, people are shifting like crazy. They barely know what's going on. This has been a very intense time energetically, planetarily, if that is even a word. And a lot of people are confused about what they care about, what their priorities are. And if that's you, we're really going through quite the shift right now. So don't down yourself for feeling a bit confused as to what matters to you or feeling a bit bombarded by everyone else's energy and needing to go hide somewhere to not have to deal with the onslaught. You are not alone. And this is really an important time to learn how to protect your field. So if that's you and I'm speaking to you, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always teaching people how to protect their fields, how to step into the essence of who they are and, uh, not be too frightened of of going out into the world. This is where, you know, we put our pedal to the metal. This is where we really do our work in real time in life. So let's all bring our energy into present time right now and connect a bit with what our soul path is. So let's 
talk a bit about the manifestation effort and the commitment to it. One thing that uh, got downloaded to me, and a lot of you know I, I do a lot of channeling, I do a lot of shifting and transformation work, is that when we use the word commitment or discipline, there is sort of a negative energy for some of us on this topic, because if we recall where discipline is used, often it's been to implement goals and dreams that don't belong to us. They belong to someone else, but we did it. You know, we, I always tell the story of being in London and working with about six or seven attorneys who all went to the right schools, passed the bar, uh, are hired in firms, seem quite successful, and they're miserable. So if that's you, that you're living a life that someone else defined for you as, hey, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to be uh, doing every day, and you are miserable, don't be afraid today to check in with yourself. And have you noticed how frightened we get when we have to check in with our own truth? It's as if we think our own truth is going to destroy us. Why is that? Because often the truth that we are passionate about is 180 degrees from what we're doing. And we don't know how we let ourselves get in this mess. We start thinking, why was I so weak? Why did I yield? Why did I want to please mom, dad, society, boss, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? How did I create this situation? I have the perfect house, the perfect car, etc., and I'm just dying inside. So when we get that connection with our soul essence and really feel what it is, it can be horrifying. I'd like you to try a different filter on this, and I'd like you to know that your soul essence isn't out there to hurt you. You don't have to hide it. You don't have to pretend that your truth doesn't exist, and you don't have to wait till retirement to become true to yourself. That's another big one right there. There is so much negativity around the word discipline because we hear other voices. We hear the requirements of others that if you're going to do this and do it right, you've got to practice, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, some of us were fortunate to practice and do things that we loved, even if there were times that we did not enjoy what we were doing. I uh, used to write six hours a day, and I didn't care if it was a holiday, somebody's birthday, or what was going on. I was doing that. So another twist to this is that if you were super disciplined in another time of your life, in a certain area of your life, whether it was sports or the arts or uh, some career path, and I think many of us have done that, do you sense this little mini rebellion in yourself? Like, I don't want to ever do that again. I don't want to do anything I don't want to do. It's almost like becoming a two-year-old again. We dig our heels in, and we say, nope, I don't want to do that. It doesn't feel good. So how do we define the balance between not doing what we don't want to do, but feeling good about our dream and our desire? It's a bit tricky, isn't it? And we're going to talk about that. But a lot of it is these mixed associations in our field the reactions of our inner child, some of our ancestral energies that get in there, and also our cultural energies. We have a lot of paradigms running our world and peeling off the layers of those messages is a process. If you're listening to this today and something's quickening in you in your heart space and your solar plexus, because I'm sure getting it, then this is a time for you to take a look at what layer of the onion you're working on today. And if you download this later as a podcast and listen to it again, I can promise you, you're going to get different layers of the onion, right? Because you're going to deal with the one that's presenting today. You're going to deal with the one that's showing up now. And the next time, you're going to deal with the next layer. I get asked this all the time, you know, when I'm uh, sharing my uh, meditational clearing CDs with people. They go, well, how is it different every time? Because you're showing up with a transition of your energy. You have just cleared some other stuff, and now you're presenting the new. And it's amazing. The masters are current with you. They're showing up with you, and you're releasing what is showing up the next time and the time after that until you eventually can hear that small sound of your own truth. 
That's where we want to get to. And the truth of this is that when you are listening to your soul essence, you can bring in a powerful ensemble, a powerful team to support you so that you can step into more of who you are. We're going to talk a bit about why we think our soul truth, our soul essence, will destroy us, make us useless. Whenever I'm speaking, I tell people all the time, just because you listen to the spiritual self doesn't mean that you suddenly become stupid. You know, we're not trashing our minds and our hearts and our energy field and all these other realities in our lives. We don't just abandon our children, quit our jobs and and run away. That's the assumptions are so extreme, so black and white. So pay attention to what's showing up for you. Notice what happens as you say yes to your soul message. And when we come back from the break, we can talk about what it's like to feel that duality sometimes in your field so that when we think about working hard for a goal that we have, we're not so frightened and we're not convinced that the whole world is going to fall apart around us. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Tune in to the hit show Master's Chambers with your trusted friend, Connie Fife. Mondays, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Each week, Connie will connect you with the best of the best thought leaders from around the globe to share their strategies and best practices. Getting better together. To book Connie, visit ConnieFifeSpeaks.com. Would you like to remember more of your dreams or understand the ones you have? How about leveraging your sleeping hours to create more in your life? Most of us aren't familiar with this powerful aspect of ourselves. Join Lynn Brown, host of Get Into It, Winning at the Game of Life, at her unique Astral Allies Retreat, September 24th through the 27th. This three-night retreat in the Cascade Mountains includes food, lodging, energy healings, free time in nature, and immeasurable spiritual growth. Email lynn at areyouintoit.com to register as space is limited call the oprah of radio by her listeners award-winning host dr pat basili is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential dr pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio tune in and dr pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R patshow.com for listening times in your area. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie DeLuce at info at ronniedeleuceonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie DeLuce, your partner in wellness. I love that beat. I just love that beat. Love those guys. And, you know, we've all felt that feeling of wanting to create something, to commit to something bigger than ourselves, to 
commit to something totally meaningful. And when we feel so down about our lives and what have I done? What have I created here? Why am I doing this? You know, it's it's a little hard to not bring in some harsher messages about discipline. So this is Leslie Fontaine. If you want to know more about me, I hope you will check me out at my website, lesliefontaine.com. That is L-E-S-L-I-E-F-O-N-T-E-Y-N-E dot com. And if you need to reach out to me, you can also call 678-665-3366. And you'll see a lot of information on my site about, you know, some teachings I've put out, classes I'm teaching, where I'm going to be. I'm going to be in uh, Durango September 11th and 12th, and uh, we'll be in London September 21st through October 2nd, seeing clients and doing some work there, and then in Portland down the road at the Oregon Convention Center on November 7th and 8th, and then in Cincinnati November 21st through 22nd. So a lot going on. Uh, September, I'm beginning my class to teach Empowering Your Soul Path. You know, some of us have gotten a little passive or beaten up or, you know, have just not dealt so well with the onslaught of energies and have let some things, you know, get away from us. And this is an opportunity to learn how to reboot, to get our selves back in gear, refocused, but different, right? And we're going to talk a bit about that in terms of discipline. How do we switch out the energy of fear with the energy of unconditional love, with the energy of soul passion and connecting with source and allowing something that we don't entirely have the form of yet to download for us. So the other thing I'm going to be doing is uh, creating a spiritual mastermind group. And that's going to be both uh, online with a Facebook uh, group uh, as well as um, a, a teleclass, telecall. And what is a spiritual mastermind group? Um, this kind of group is aware of your energies. It is aware of source and some of the things going on with you from that perspective. So it's not just let's set some goals and achieve these things and this is the timeline and we listen around to everyone and what they think about it, right? Um, because I often want someone to come from a higher place and connect with me in that way and get some channeled information and um, feel the supportive energy of everyone in the group <clears throat> so that I can you know, step into something that's made of a good energy, that's made of a good vibration. So that's what a spiritual mastermind group is, and I'll be putting out some more information on that. <clears throat> so back to our topic on discipline. Why does discipline feel negative? I think if we very quickly go into our own experience and we hear voices, we start to hear some of the energies that really didn't have much encouragement associated with them. Some of us have been hugely fortunate to have people in our lives who just thought the world of us, thought we could do it, thought we could make it happen, and, you know, we did great things because of it. Some of us have been slapped by a two-by-four or have gone through huge life challenges or have grieved the death of a loved one or suffered the loss of a career that we allowed to define us. And when any of these things happens, it can last almost too long, that period of aimlessness or discouragement. And so we need someone's help to shift that energy, right? It gets too clogged up, gets too familiar. The lack of purpose or direction lasts a little too long. And if we're really honest with ourselves, we know it, right? We don't like someone else pointing it out to us. That's for sure. That brings up every flag. It brings up the defensiveness. We get mad. We get angry because we don't some want someone out there telling us, you know, what we need to do. And um, I always like to remind people that what is an issue for one person uh, is quite simple for someone else and vice versa. You've got things that you're absolutely outstanding at. 
um, and and someone else, it's it's a huge struggle. So comparisons do little. They don't encourage. They don't support. And that's why when I'm talking about the spiritual mastermind group, it's important to have people aligned in spirit because regardless of whether it's difficult for one person or another, we're not coming from that level. We're not coming from a level of comparisons, competitiveness, envy, jealousy, frustration, anger. We're moving it up a notch. We're, we're taking it up there. So right now, I'd like some of you to get super honest about something that you've been guided to step into. Okay, this does not have to be some, you know, major thing like creating a company, developing a product. It can be so simple like manifesting a vacation, manifesting a relationship, uh, creating a new home, um, shifting out old energies in your home where some objects have really uh, drained you. Yes, objects can have energy, believe it or not. Um, Clutter can have energy. Is it time to release and clear space? So get super honest about something that perhaps you know you've been putting off. You've gotten guidance. And I'd like to kind of have you test your field a bit right now because some of you, I'm just getting the heels dug in feeling, and I don't want you to be afraid of this. I don't want you to think that you're going to get uh, criticized for this whatsoever. There's a little fear in your heart. And what I'm getting for some of you is there's a fear of failure. There's a fear that if you apply discipline, you're never going to be good enough. That sounds like some messaging coming from family and from school, perhaps. Um, it, there's a message, no matter how hard I try or how much time I put into it, I won't achieve it. That is another message coming up for you. You don't know if that's true. The next part is when we're creating something special for ourselves we're, and we're investing the time to do it, and time's going to be another part of our conversation here, when we're creating this new thing, typically we are not getting paid in the process. So there's that baggage to put on top of our goals and dreams. If I start writing a book, I am not being paid in that moment to write that book. Just as a painter was not paid when he began to start his artwork. So is there messaging? Oh, you're going to put in all that time, ask us to get a babysitter for the kids so you can go write your book. Hear the heaviness in that one? Oh, you want to clear out a room just for you so you can go do your work. Ooh, So suddenly there's an additional layer, which is that I'm not worthy to have my own space. How on earth did that happen? So I love it when people talk about it's a free country because honestly, we sure don't live like it. And this is true for all of us. We are constantly peeling the proverbial onion and discovering layer after layer of accepted beliefs that are holding us back from stepping into all that we are. One is that we're not worthy to have the space or time or support. We may not be smart enough. We may not be fast enough. We may may not be good enough. And then the next part is that if I follow my passion and I step into all that I am, I will lose love. I will lose my job. And we hit this wall of needing approval. That is big time inner child, big time parts of us that are hooked into family that when we performed, then we received. Maybe. Some of us never did. Many of the clients I have worked with, the abuse never stopped. What's abuse? It's not just physical. There's emotional abuse, mental abuse stating what your value is to the world, stating uh, your worth. Many clients I work with, and this is a really good one, are empaths. Are you? Let me tell you what that makes your life like for your whole upbringing. It means you're the sensitive one. You're the one that often carried the emotional baggage of the family, the unexpressed fear, horror, anger, needs, the quiet desperation. You carried that. 
and then you spend 10, 20 years trying to let it go or wondering what's wrong with you. And everyone around you is going, can't you just dot, dot, dot? Can't you just do life, show up, get a job, do what everybody else is doing? And so the shaming energy is just compounding this difficulty of dealing with all these energies that have been absorbed into your field. So when you as an empath are wanting to create something about you, it is quite the challenge. There is a lot of baggage that has to be released. There is a lot of courage that you want to step into. If you want any help with this, this is something that I work with clients really well with in terms of shifting from the old energies of the ancestral line and our cultural energies, some past lifetime stuff, into creating who we are. If your idea and your desires are being shown to you now, it's on time. It's not a mistake. You are getting the memo now. Sometimes we go, why now? It's a mess. Everything's falling apart around me. Why not be courageous today and go, because it is now. Today's when I'm getting it in the midst of all this meth. So when we come back, we're going to talk about how to shift some of that energy out so that when we create some discipline and when we develop some commitment to ourselves, we know how to work with those old messages that come up. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases. It's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lime Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. Calling all dreamers. Are you living your dream life? Actualize your possibilities with Life Coaching Radio and your host, Deb Stetzer. If you're feeling stuck in a rut, Deb is here to help you turn your dreams into a reality. Life Coaching Radio. Dream it, live it, be it. To learn more about Deb, visit www.mylifecoach.us. to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Stones, all they can break are your bones. 
Hi there, we are back. This is Leslie Fontaine. This is Sheer Alchemy, and I wanted to put out the number one more time. If any of this is resonating with you, it'd be great to work with you. The number is 800-930-2819, 800-930-2819. We're talking about the commitment to our abundance manifestations, and If you are feeling the blockages in your field, or if you are feeling the negative emotions stirring up, if you are feeling some despair, I promise you, you are not alone. And some of us just stop right there and we think we can't do it. You don't have evidence of that. You don't know that's true, but that's how it feels. Many of us right now in these times are carrying very heavy emotional bodies, And your emotional body means that you are leading with those emotions. So we're doing fine until somebody puts their finger on our wound, right? Have you had that where you hurt somewhere in your body, somebody touches it and you go, ow. And so we glide along in life. We're just doing our thing, not happy necessarily, but we think we're doing what we're supposed to do. And then someone brings up a topic like this, and we have to be reminded of what we wanted to create, what we wanted to do, and that we never did it. And it came to us when we were 20 and 30 and 40. And at each decade interval, we had a different reason for why it couldn't happen then. Is that you? Is that showing up for you? Is that resonating with you? And the assumption now is that it's too late. I love to tell the story of my 82-year-old client in Raleigh who decided it was time to open a yoga studio. There is a part of us that is deciding we should retire, that we uh, should end, you know, whatever function we have been dutifully performing and begin it, you know, at a certain age. The thing is that the energy has accumulated. We have piled on so much habitual Practice that we don't just switch to our dreams that minute. There has to be some preparation. And it's perfectly fine to start preparing at 60. That's fine if you're retiring at 65. Just don't put the expectation on yourself again that once you retire, immediately you're going to step into your passion. That's not how it works because the same baggage has to be released. Okay, so back to your dream. Back to the abundance manifestation. Some of us are feeling a lot of shame. We're feeling disempowered. We're feeling like victims in our lives. If we're sitting, let's say, in our kitchen right now, we have no job. We have nothing that we feel like we're good at. We let time pass by. We didn't go back to school. And we didn't do all the things that we got guided to. Is it over? No, it's not over. It's not over. You're definitely a candidate for my spiritual mastermind class. You're definitely a candidate for a session to clear out the first layer of all these uh, negative messages that have told you that it's too late. Why start? Why bother? I want you to know if you've gotten visited, if you got the memo, if you got the intuitive guidance about doing something and it surfaced again and it surfaced even during this call, then this is something that you need to take a look at. Source is saying it's not too late. Sometimes we do have goals and desires that we've outgrown. The things that we wanted to do at 20, honestly, we don't want to do anymore. You know, if we didn't start uh, out as a rock and roll singer at 20, it's very unlikely that, you know, we're going to hit the big time at 60. But I'm not going to limit you. You can open up those vocal cords. Maybe they got a little lazy and, and blocked up, but... You know, who knows? You may do the coffee house circuit. You may do better than that. So it's not my job to limit you. But if it's coming up for you again, I do want to tell you that it's about your energy. It's about your passion. It's about being alive. Often it's about being an example to people around you about what they can create, giving them hope in the face of people telling them what they can't do, what they can't be, what's not practical, what they don't have money for, what they don't have the strength for, the discipline I remember being uh, told by my family they thought I was such a dilettante. Do you know what that means? It kind of is a slam. I know that shocks you. And it means that you, you flit from one project to another. You don't really, you know, zoom in and totally focus on a field like engineering or 
um, you know, just a, a music career that requires a lot of training and you have just bounced to this and you sing pretty good and then you bounce over here and you love to write a little and then you bounce over there and you kind of are technical, but you never really uh, land. Now, what's interesting is uh, back in the 1500s, they called that a Renaissance person. Isn't that a riot? And when we meet people that uh, have a lot of interests and talents and skills and they've dabbled in this and dabbled in that. We, we call them a renaissance person. That sounds so complimentary. So why don't we switch the wording, the filter on you? And I want you to notice as we switch the filtering, the objections coming up in your own field, because some of you are seeing your parental line. Some of you are seeing your father's. You're, you're feeling that energy right now and you're going, oh, that's not true. That's not true. So that is surfacing for you to release it. It's not just affecting your dream. It's affecting everything about you. It's affecting everything that you desire that you shut down almost immediately. And that's how we know sometimes that we aren't really ready or willing to go into the pain. Often when we've had a lot of trauma and difficult experiences in our field, I tell people, you don't just rip the blanket off a trauma victim. You know, this is a gentle process. Source is so gentle. So why don't we trust source? Why is there so much uh, energy of source betrayal in our field? Because we align source or the universe with our parents or our society that was all very conditional. So we put the same attributes onto source that don't even deserve to be there. So if I tell you right now that source is embracing you and you can bring in your masters and uh, divine mother and divine father and fully embrace you in all that you are right now. Yeah, you may have a good cry. You may feel the nurturing that you haven't allowed for yourself. You've learned to crack the whip on yourself and internalize that as much as your family did that to you or society. You know, if anyone said, don't cry, I always love that that line, there's no crying in baseball. You know, do you have some rule about if I'm emotional, I must be ineffective? Really? So take a look at what the messaging is in your field. There is the opportunity to step into your intellect and be an emotional person at the same time. It's a newsflash, I know. But you can be all that, and your spiritual self can come into the picture and coexist with your mental self and your emotional self and your etheric self and your physical self. All these can be happening. And we know very well there's a lot of people with physical handicaps who have done amazing things. So even if you're struggling there and having a hard time, it doesn't mean that you cannot create and perform. So take a look at maybe what the world would call excuses that exist in your field that have stopped to this point and ask yourself, is it valid? Do I want to let go of it? Here's the trick. When we choose to let go of an excuse or an explanation for why we're not doing certain things or stepping into certain things. On the other side of it is that we don't want to own the responsibility of the choice, the responsibility of the energy, the responsibility of the outcome, because we think that there is such a thing as failure. And that's the other piece of all this. We learned about failure and success growing up. We used to try a lot of things. We'd get on the balance beam, fall off. We'd play basketball, never make a basket, but we kept doing it and we had a good time. Later in life, we learned, wow, I tried that once. I'm not very good at it. So let's lift off this whole heavy energy of failure and success. And let's just say that you felt guided to create a writing schedule. What is an hour a day for the next year? What, what is it? Or going to school or taking one class a semester to get a bachelor's or an or a master's degree. What what does that say to you? One hour a day, if you can't allow that, it then becomes this other energy that you are not really believing that you can be successful. So I'd love for you to take that whole success failure language off of your desire and let it be about something so much grander, something that makes you happy. And then we think about that. Can I be happy? Can I be fully joyous? You know, when people are super, super happy, we go, wow, what's wrong with you? Because 
outrageous joy is almost considered a problem. It's much better to be tempered. I've talked to so many clients who say, I've just worked my whole life to just keep keep a very flat affect, you know, don't want to be too happy, don't want to be too joyous, because all of a sudden it's like, what are you happy about? You know, you can just follow that string all the way to some early childhood memories as well. But stepping into your passion means that you get to be happy, you get to enjoy your own accomplishments, you are learning to not let other people put a value on what you do, you're experimenting, it's trial and error, you're letting yourself feel who you are as you're doing this thing, and then if you decide to move on from it and do something else, there's no judgment, imagine that. So do you get what I'm saying about this discipline thing? There's a sense that I'm not being paid for it, there's a sense that I better not feel good about it until there's a reward that my worldly friends would understand, uh, whether it's money or other people's affirmations about it. So, so many things shut us down before we begin. Does this resonate with you? I'm putting out the phone number one more time. It's 800-930-2819. And you can find me at LeslieFontaine.com. Dot com l e s l i e f o n t e y n e dot com also at sheeralchemy dot com and don't hesitate to reach out if any of this is resonating with you and you're sort of done carrying all this heaviness all this baggage that is getting in the way of you stepping into your truth. Keep your lifestyle in retirement? It's a question people often wonder about. Ask Ameriprise Financial Advisor Jeff Packman about the new Confident Retirement Approach. You and Jeff can break down retirement planning step by step to get the real answers you need. Call Jeff Packman Financial Advisor today at 425 453 0272. Office is located at 601 108th Avenue Northeast, Suite 1800, Bellevue, Washington 98004. The Confident Retirement Approach is not a guarantee of future financial results. Investment and advisory products and services are made available through Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, a registered investment advisor. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member of FINRA and SIPC. You got attitude? Keys to the rescue. Adjust your attitude with Keys Clear Protein Waters. So refreshing. Just a few sips of Keys will give you a whole new outlook thanks to 22 grams of the happiest protein on earth. Tongue tingling tasty without the guilt of naughty or nasty ingredients. If that doesn't Put a smile on your face. Maybe you need to drink too. Put a little Woo-hoo! in your attitude with Keys Protein Water on Amazon or at Keys K E E S Please dot com. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award winning host Dr. Pat Basili is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Pat Show.com for listening times in your area. Hi, I'm Leslie Fontaine with Sheer Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio, and here's your tip of the day. When it comes to positive thinking and the law of attraction, many of us could say, been there, done that, read the book. So what happened if we didn't get there, didn't achieve the goal, didn't step into our abundance? Typically, there are some core wounds and core fears that keep us from stepping out. We also have energies in our ancestral lines, our cultural and family codes, and even agreements that keep us in check. So let me challenge you. When you had the desire that burned in your soul, what happened? How did discouragement set in? Why did you stop? What came up for you? Whose voices? 
Listen, there's hope, but it does not come from suppressing the energy that's within you. We all know it's going to spill out somewhere. So join me on Transformation Talk Radio and Share Alchemy, and we're going to find out how we can shift you into the intentions that can manifest for you. This is Leslie Fontaine, Sheer Alchemy, and we are back. This is the point in time where we want to pick that thing that has been showing up in your life over and over again. You're ready. You know, it's interesting when an inspired idea comes, and I teach this a lot, we just think, well, not now. I can't do that now. Do you see what's going on? And you know, I used to remember uh, as a kid, I, I would come home with this big award from school and all hell was breaking loose at home. And there was this message, which was, well, you can't be happy about your award because don't you see what's going on for everyone else? There was suddenly this valuation. There was what's going on here is way more important than what's happened to you. You do not have the right to celebrate in the midst of what we're dealing with. Do you know many of us still carry that? We still suppress it. Um, I often, whenever I would win an award, uh, would lose my best friend. It never failed, and I had no idea there were all these hidden agendas. So I carried that for a long time. You know what I did? I quit telling people anything. So... Here you are, you have an inspired idea, there's something you want to do. Maybe it looks like a mess at home right now, maybe it looks like a mess at work. Maybe you're working 70 hours a week right now and there isn't time for you to, you know, entertain this thing. Let me tell you a secret. First, say yes. Say yes. Don't start looking at your 3D world to affirm back to you A divinely inspired idea, intuitive guidance is coming to you from another area. Because when we say yes, things start to shift. That's what you want to experience. Things start to shift. More ideas come. More creativity comes. We start finding out we're not speaking our truth. We're not standing in our power. We're afraid of our loved ones. We're afraid of our bosses. We have built our lives around trying to please And we think that there will be no room for us to create what we want to do. So this is the moment where Source is not only going to help us create our dream or our passion, but we're also going to get healed. It's time to step into all that you are. Some of you are really getting this vibration in your solar plexus and in your heart space. You are that valuable. You are getting this idea on purpose. It's not an accident. It dropped into you. And now you want to step into it. Yes, in the midst of the mess, mess, in the midst of the chaos. This is your time. Once you say yes, energy starts to shift. Bring in your light beings. Bring in the masters. Allow them to participate with you right now. I want you to get happy right now. I want you to really feel happy right now. Can you do that? Can you let yourself feel the absolute stupendous joy of your passion right now? And if you can't, I want you to ask yourself why. Really get honest, okay? Don't do the excuse routine. Don't use generalities like security, money, blah, blah, blah. Don't, don't do that. I want you to get as real as you can about what the reason is that you think you can't be happy. If there is an anger addict in the midst of your house and you start laughing with joy, why is it that you value that person's angry reaction more than your joy? And I could apply this to numerous areas of our lives, right? What you are noticing is, I don't deserve to take up space. The other person does. I'll do my dream after everybody else has gone to bed and I'm too exhausted to even think. What has caused you to be last on the list? Then we bring in the discipline and the choice. What's coming to you? What time of day should you be working on this dream? Nine in the morning? Oh, my gosh, I can't do that. If I do that, uh, so-and-so won't get these needs met. My boss won't be happy. My partner won't be happy. 
So already you notice that you're needing to step into your power. And then there's the shaming energy. Have you drawn that in where people are going, why do you think it's you're able to do that when, you know, we've got all these other needs? So you're all of a sudden having to justify and defend what is coming to you. So take a look at all the messaging coming in, all right? And here's the thing. We can clear this. We can shift this. And this is what I do with my clients all the time. But if you're not really wanting to let go of this, you'll bring the same thing again. You'll bring it in. And when you're done, you're done. And it's okay. It's one of your life lessons. Some of you are super done, and you'd really like to let this go. So we've got a call. Who yeah. is it, Benny? Yeah, we have time. I think we can sneak on our call. It's Sharon calling in from Connecticut. So, Sharon, welcome to the show. Hey, Sharon. Hi, thank you. Oh, yeah. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I listen to you all the time. I think you're fantastic. Oh, thank you, Sharon. So what's going on with you? Well, I'm, I work in the health care. I work for hospice, and I'm just so... Um, I'm just so sad and uh, on, on how everything is just all about the money, even with what I do, um, you know, with these big corporations and such. And I've had it in my mind for a while to start, a, you know, a women's group, you know, just so women can just have their voice. Yeah. I think we all share, like you said, so many of the same insecurities. Yeah. And um, But I'm stuck. I have to supply the health insurance. And I don't have the credentials. I didn't go. To, it's just it's all of that. That and I. But I think I could make this really successful because I think that there's a great need out there. Well, you're letting some uh, all or nothing thinking get in your way here. So let's just back off a little bit. First of all, I love what you are sharing in terms of your passion. I love how much joy that gives you, and I can hear it. Everybody can hear it. So now we just want to say yes. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to make it happen. Okay, so can we just say yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to take a look at what is saying you can't start next month. Okay? And is it that you need a full-time operation to do this? No, I could sort of ease into this. Uh huh. I could do it, you know, in the evening and still keep my day job and just see how it goes, I guess. Yeah, just because you're going to learn so much. You're going to learn so much mm-hmm. about doing this. And also, you've got a fabulous energy, but I'm getting um, blocks for you in your solar plexus. This is, you know, stepping into your power. And um, you are all that, Sharon. And, you know, you're going to bring in a lot of guidance. You're pretty sensitive, aren't you, as far as a lot of energies? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty intuitive. Yeah. I am. Mm-hmm. So th- mm-hmm. the thing is that you're going to allow these people, you know, whether it's Tuesdays at 7 or whatever, to, you know, come into your home or wherever you choose to meet this or, or meet this group or, you know, some office place. And you're going to start allowing. Once we say yes, the shift starts to happen and we start creating the ideas of, of how we want it to do, you know, whether it's 90 minutes or two hours, where it where it can be, all this. And then it begins to expand, right? So just say yes. Just start. You you have so much to give. I can just get you all over the place, but there's some part of your powers. <laughs> That's the problem. I am all over the place. <laughs> well, no, you're very powerful. You're very powerful. Yeah. But you've got some solar plexus energy about your power center and not being able to do this. So here's the thing, Sharon. We're coming to the end um, of the show, and I'd be glad to talk to you later. My number is 678 665 Six six, and we can go into more depth about what surfacing is the block. But this has been a super show. Just really, really glad we could talk through some of this. Uh, join me again next time. Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine. You've been listening to the hit show Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Gifted, shifted, and powerful is what this show is about. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com and LeslieFontaine.com for showtimes and dates. Contact Leslie at LeslieFontaine.com to schedule a transformative session that 
removes your blocks so that you can say yes to explosive abundance. You will not be the same. 